isolation. Is rubber dam really the best? And for that, to answer this question, let's go jump into photo number one. And in photo number one, I've already isolated these two beautiful preparations on eight and nine, where I'm gonna be able to deliver uh, under a very well controlled environment, two ceramic restorations. Now, what, what are the tricks here that I wanna share with you? Number one, you need to do these perforations at least five to seven millimeters apart. If you don't uh, perforate your rubber dam with these measure, with, with this uh, separation between your perforations, you're gonna have some tissue exposed. So you gotta make sure that there's no tension between each of these perforations. And the other thing is that you need to do that because you're gonna use a retraction clamp. You are seeing on photo number one, there's two B4 clamps, and those clamps are pushing that rubber dam subgingivally, pushing the tissue also apically, so that you can have full exposure of a very nice and clean margin. Let's go to photo number two. And in photo number two, you are seeing now my delivered ceramic restorations. And again, these were bonded to the tooth structure, and we know that in order for us to be able to bond perfectly well, you don't wanna have any contamination of your operative field. So the answer to the question is yes, there is no better way to isolate than using a rubber dam. And I know you know that. See you on the next reel.